weeks, Idaho State Troopers will travel to the Texas-Mexico border. Governor Brad Little announced they'd be deployed to help secure the nation's border. Jude Binkley spoke with Governor Little today to talk about why he made this decision and how a problem so far away still impacts our communities. A big commitment to the southern border from more than a thousand miles away. On January 26th, Governor Brad Little made the call to send state troopers to the Texas-Mexico border for the third time since 2021. The troopers that go down this time, they'll be working shoulder to shoulder with Texas Department of Public Safety on recognizing, uh, you know, what trafficking looks like at the border and how it's going to look like when it gets up here. Governor Little says those troopers will also be a force multiplier to help the Texas DPS secure the nation's border. And that's why we're trying to help uh, Governor Abbott. And that's my biggest complaint about the uh, administration is they're ceding control of the border to uh, drug cartels. Drug cartels that Governor Little says have been flooding the nation and the gem state with dangerous drugs like fentanyl. My state police will tell you that uh, seeing firsthand the, the drug smuggling and how creative they are and what their new techniques. The whole plan of the cartels is to just overwhelm the system. So the nefarious things can happen. Uh, they, they orchestrate all of this. That's why when Governor Abbott asked for help, quite a few of the governors said, we'll help you. Governor Little says it's not just about drugs coming from the border. He also wants to stop human trafficking. We know that because of our laws, because of our law enforcement uh, in Idaho, uh, that the big time trafficker stays say stay away from Idaho. We want to continue to have that reputation here in Idaho. The issue is a lot of the flow, you know, the nationwide flow comes up the West Coast and then cuts across. That's why we have so many busts in the Coeur d'Alene area is the interstate that goes across there. The states, we have the responsibility and the authority to protect our the safety of our people. I don't deny the federal government have, and they need to do their job, which they're not, uh, has control of the border. You know, the border, other side of the country from here in Idaho, but it sounds like this is something that still impacts our communities pretty heavily. Oh, yes. Well, if, if, if you hear it all the time, every state's a border state. It is so available and so affordable and it's so addictive and it's so poisonous. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. These are all things we need to work on. These are all things we need to learn about. Obviously, we need to do interdiction. Obviously, we need to do treatment, but we got to stop the flow. You know, one thing that some critics have said about this uh, move is that it's insignificant or an act of political theater, theatrics. I guess, what do you say to that? Well, the, uh, the Texas Department of Public Safety, uh, the two times that I've already been down there will tell me that it, our guys make a difference. It is such an impact on the state of Texas. And then Texas is in essence keeping the rest of us safe by doing everything they can to create a, 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 an atmosphere to where those nefarious people don't want to come across here. We just feel like we owe them some help and they're very appreciative. The troopers have not been deployed yet to the border. We don't know when or how many will be sent down. It depends on ISP and how that deployment works into their rotation and resources. Governor Little also says he plans on visiting the border and speaking with Texas Governor Greg Abbott.